Have you ever wondered what the difference is between a ramjet and a scramjet? Well, let's start with the ramjet. It's a type of air-breathing jet engine that uses the engine's forward motion to compress incoming air without an axial compressor or a turbine. In simpler terms, imagine you're driving down the highway with your hand out the window. As you speed up, you can feel the air pressure against your hand increasing. That's essentially how a ramjet works. The faster the aircraft moves, the greater the incoming air is compressed. Now the magic really happens in the combustion chamber. Here, fuel is injected and ignited, causing a rapid expansion of hot gases, which are then expelled out the back, propelling the aircraft forward. The speed of the aircraft compresses the air, the combustion chamber heats it up, and the nozzle directs the flow. Now that you have a basic understanding of what a ramjet is, let's dive into scramjets. So what exactly is a scramjet? Well, a scramjet, or supersonic combustion ramjet, is a variant of a ramjet air-breathing jet engine. However, the key difference lies in the speed at which combustion takes place. In a scramjet, combustion occurs in supersonic airflow. That's right, we're talking about air speeds that exceed the speed of sound. Now, you might be wondering how a scramjet compresses incoming air before combustion. Unlike a ramjet, a scramjet doesn't slow down the incoming air to subsonic speeds. Instead, it capitalizes on the high kinetic energy of the incoming air to achieve compression. It's a fascinating mechanism that's as efficient as it is innovative. And when it comes to hypersonic speeds, that's where scramjets really shine. They're designed to operate at such extreme speeds, making them a cutting-edge solution for rapid, long-distance travel. With a grasp of what scramjets are, it's time to pinpoint the key differences between ramjets and scramjets. Ramjets and scramjets, two powerful engines, but what sets them apart? Diving straight into it, the defining difference between a ramjet and a scramjet is the speed at which they operate and their method of air compression. Let's start with the ramjets. These engines perform at their best when the aircraft is cruising at supersonic speeds, but the air entering the combustion chamber is slowed down to subsonic speeds. The air is compressed due to the speed and shape of the intake, and then fuel is injected, causing combustion. On the flip side, scramjets, short for supersonic combustion ramjets, have a different approach. They allow the air to flow through the engine at supersonic speeds. This means scramjets don't slow the air down. Instead, they use the high kinetic energy of the incoming air to compress it before combustion. In essence, ramjets are about subsonic combustion, while scramjets are all about supersonic combustion. Now let's look at some real-life applications of these engines. Where might you encounter ramjets and scramjets in the real world? It's fascinating to note that these types of engines aren't merely theoretical constructs, but are indeed used in a number of real-world applications. Ramjet engines, for instance, power the D-21 drone. This unmanned high-speed reconnaissance drone was developed in the mid-20th century and was capable of impressive speeds thanks to its ramjet engine. Another example is the Meteor missile a state-of-the-art air-to-air missile which uses a ramjet for propulsion, offering superior range and speed. On the other hand, scramjet engines are found in experimental aircraft like the X-43 and the X-51 Waver Rider. These are record-breaking aircraft, with the X-43 currently holding the world record for the fastest speed ever achieved by an aircraft, clocking in at approximately seven times the speed of sound. And there you have it, a brief comparison of ramjets and scramjets, two critical components in the world of aviation.